Hey, how you doing? This is Tom, and this is Tom's Radio Room Show. Do you remember show number 2137, where I was recording, showing, listening to a international broadcast station, WRMI, and I found on the internet a way to do a reception report. So I filled out that reception report, and guess what? I got this back in the mail couple of days ago, confirming my reception report back on April 22nd. This station is located down in Okeechobee, Florida, so it's only about 400 miles from me, so it's not a fantastic DX, but right now with shortwave conditions really poor, anything you can get is great. I haven't done one of these reports in over 50 years. I started out when I was a teenager. I would listen to FM radio from a radio that my brother gave me. He found it in one of the house that, uh, houses that he was helping uh, tear down. And the cabinet, the wood cabinet, was totally destroyed. It was just old and rotted. But the, he pulled the receiver out, which was a, a Fisher AM FM radio. I think it had 15 tubes. Really a nice radio. He gave it to me. I found some speakers to hook up. And I listened to long distance stations at night on the FM band. Now, long distance was about maybe a thousand miles, best case for FM. But that was kind of fun. And then um, later on, I got my ham, lice, ham license, and I communicated with people. And again, you could get one of these it's called QSL card, which is a card is written to confirm that you either had a two-way conversation or you had a case where you listen to a station, international broadcast station, or a TV station for that matter, that was long distance, and you reported it. Now, back then, what you had to do is you had to write or type on a typewriter uh, a report. You know, when you heard the station, what frequency, what radio you were using, what the conditions were, how well you received it, and then you have to, had to give specifics about the show you heard or whatever you heard. You couldn't be general. You had to be specific. And you'd put that in an envelope and mail it. And in the case of international, it cost you, I think, like 25 cents back then when normally postage was six cents or something like that. And you had to include a mailing coupon that the station could use to buy the stamp to put on the postcard or letter back to you, so it was no cost to them. This one, again, I did the report on the internet and they sent me this card. Then later on, I did, um, after doing um, QSL cards with hams, I started listing to international broadcast and doing QSL reports. Then, and I collected quite a few of them. I have no, I had a whole box of them. I guess I lost them when we moved. But this is the first one I've got. And that was, my first one was like 60 years ago. Pretty cool. I'm proud of it. I think I'll do some more of this. This was kind of interesting. And like I say, Nowadays, it's a lot easier because a lot of the inter international broadcast stations, you can do your report on the Internet. So you don't have to mail them anything. The other thing you can do, and I've seen it done, is these pirate stations on like 6.9 and up to 7 megahertz. You can send them a report and they'll send you a QSL card. Pretty cool. Kind of a fun hobby. If you enjoyed the show, please give me a thumbs up and have a great day. Bye-bye.